That's right side, a little yeah, knot right there. Yeah, feel my right side bother me. Yeah, yeah. Old, old injuries die hard and mm -hmm, let it go. Exhale, yeah, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this one is always so <laughs> surprising. Oh my god, that feels really amazing. There you go, nice. Oh, that's nice. How are you feeling today? Tell me about I it. I feel, um, okay, so after the first time, uh, I felt some relief mm -hmm. um, after like uh, your adjustment. And then um, today uh, and the past three weeks, I've been feeling like a, a pain in my um, right side of my back um, right. on, on this side. Okay. And it's kind of causing me uh, like a little bit of a difficulty to breathe. Okay. So, you know, I've been taking like ballet classes consistently mm -hmm. and basically like sometimes I find myself like almost like having a hard time breathing in all the way. So, you know, if I bend my back for instance and I take a big breath in, like, uh -huh. like a big inhale, I feel like this part is just very stiff and doesn't let me. Does it, hurt to, does it hurt to bend back? Uh, it doesn't hurt to bend back, but it, it hurts to bend a little bit to the side. To the right. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I can't even tell which side more than this side. Okay. This side hurts more. Yes. And when you breathe in, it gets worse when you take a deep breath in? And yes, it gets worse when I take a deep breath in. So that was kind of like alarm for me. And I'm like, okay, you probably need to see him again. A lot of joints yeah. and knuckles inside, your, inside between your shoulder blades. And if those joints get inflamed, then every time you breathe, you're moving those joints. And so, you know, old injuries or posture or you know, ballet injuries or who knows, you know, we gotta go in there and just- This ballet, man. <laughs> clean it up and, um, and then what we wanna do every day is stretch backwards. So part of it is those joints, our life bent forward makes them get a little bit more swollen. So at the, at the end of our day, we wanna end our day arching back to close the joint so it doesn't stay inflamed. There we go, head back for me. Exhale for me, keep exhaling, don't stop, don't stop. There we go, deep breath in, head back. Let it all go. Deep breath in. Exhale. Chin down a little bit for me. Let it all go. Here we go. Yeah, a little tight there. Yeah, we'll get it. Take, right. a, deep, take a deep breath in for me. And then exhale. There we go. Let's see if we can compress this a little bit. There you go. Breathe in deep. And then exhale. Here we go. All right, here we go. Other side for me. Okay, other side. Exhale. Exhale. Face up for me. Okay, beautiful. No, that felt good. Yeah, you good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Everything's out to the right a little bit over here. And this right side, a little yeah, knot right there. Yeah, still my right side bother me. Yeah, yeah. Old, old injuries die hard. And you know what? Like an interesting thing is, I had my friend. Um, which we danced together in, um, at the Bolshoi in Moscow. Yes. So we met like <laughs> in the other side of the world. Yes. And she came to visit me here. Um, and we were just talking about uh, like just ballet and just like injuries and things that we go through sometimes. Yes. She actually has the same pain on the right side of her spine. And we were just thinking about like, we wonder really what causes this. Like if it's something that we actually do in ballet, you know, and if it's a common thing for ballerinas to, hmm. or, or any ballet dancer really to get it, mm -hmm. it was just so interesting because it's b for both of us on the right side of our back and then, you know, like underneath the shoulder blade pretty much. Right. And it's just like a really deep, like, pain. Really hard to get, to be honest. Like, we, I can't get m There's any release myself really on my own. Mm -hmm. There's some overlap. The, it can be the lower neck. The actual joints in your lower neck refer pain right to that border of the scapula. Mm -hmm. So if the joints in your lower neck, and lower neck neck inflammation is common, uh, even not yeah, ballet, even, just, even, just mm -hmm. life in general puts a lot of stress on most people's lower necks, and so it's common in my so office. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Exhale. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this one is always so <laughs> surprising. Oh my God, that feels really amazing. So I go chin up. <laughs> you were due for an adjustment. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just get 
those joints get inflamed and it's so loud <laughs> <laughs> the stretching I mean is that if we can ha have your head come kind of in this position this position is what we want and that's what I'm going to show you today a little bit that neck den roll I think if we can yeah that's what we were talking about last, last time. time yeah mm -hmm. if we can stretch every day on that then we can get yeah. you to a better place there's actually like a like a really um, like there's a real reason why uh, in ballet we're trained to straighten our neck mm -hmm. and kind of fl flush right. kind of flush line with our spine and it's really for balance purposes. Right. Um, so you know if we think if you think about it, we're really balancing on like such a small surface. What happens is you don't have control over where your spine bends. So if your if your alignment is incorrect, then your lower neck is just going to be doing. A larger percentage of the bending and then that area is going to be under a lot more stress the nerves that exit that area go to the area that you're you know feeling some discomfort in mm -hmm. and so to me you do your ballet as best you can you do it, do what you want to do while you're working or when you're performing and then at the end of your day we have to do some things to restore those natural curves that we tend to not keep in our yes. spine and so that's what's going to allow you to make it to a longer yeah I can totally see that's what I'm really feel. Yeah. Ooh. definitely some some acidity some lactic acid in your neck that I like you give me chills <laughs> but not in a bad way <laughs> this one always on on in videos it looks like it hurts really bad but it really does it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't. I mean it's uncomfortable a little bit but mm -hmm. not not that bad Yeah, this side more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right there. These are the roots of your neck. They get constantly pulled on. The more head goes forward, or even with the head straight, these are yeah. you know, more tugged on than if there's an arch in your neck. So does this make like the knots underneath visible and like bring them up to right. the surface? Well, it draws out what's inside the knot. So inside the knot there is lactic acid, which is that exhaust or waste product that muscles produce when they're under contraction for a long period of time. And we're driving oxygen in there to help free it up, get the soreness out of the tissue. What happens is if your back is so tender back here, you're more likely to spend more time wanting to avoid which mm -hmm. then creates this positive feedback loop where now it's more and more sore back there, the muscles are wearing harder, and then we get sort of, so even it, it's just, we don't want to come upright. It's harder to breathe. Real easy test you can do is if you push your head forward, try to take a deep breath in, it's, it's hard to do it. If you bring your head back, it's much easier to breathe when you're upright. So, Very true, actually, So yes. keeping your body upright, so the... Oh, what a difference! I have never tried this. Yes, yeah. it's like... Push your head forward, it's hard to breathe. It's in. like, it's, you can only get it so much. So much. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and when there's inflammation of these joints, the head goes forward to get pressure off the joints, then it's hard to breathe. And so, a common way to help people breathe is to get their bodies upright, get the soreness out of the tissue, the muscles, the joints. It's got feet like, yeah, that right side, I remember him. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I feel like on the right side, almost like, is that your elbow? Yes. Okay, I feel like your elbow like yep. jumping through. Yep. Even in my voice, you can almost hear mm -hmm. it. <laughs> One more speed bumps. Yeah. Yeah. 
a little smoother on the left. Oh, it's trying to clean it up. How many years you done ballet? Um, you were real young, or I was eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yes, and not, which is actually late for ballet. Very oh. late. You know, most most professionals start to like start at like three years old. Wow. Yeah, yeah four maybe. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, they have like mommy and me classes. People start, people like, I mean, they're like babies starting at like two and a half mm. with the parents. And I didn't catch, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Oh, that's right. Okay, mm -hmm. no, we said that. So, last yeah, time. That's I, right. I just I was born there, I lived there until I was 18. Mm. Cool. And I've been. Here in the U.S. for like uh, five years now. Okay. Yeah, ballet was what it's what brought me here. Very cool. There's a pretty big asymmetry, so it explains why the side is hurting more. You know, oh, really? Just, well, I'm just saying this is the crunchiness, the mm -hmm. kind of speed bumps. Is my spine like looking straight? Like, is anything like? Well, one side's skeleton. higher. One, the right side's a little higher, and that's where we have to. The stretching is the only way to level it out. Uh, mm -hmm. Adjustments, massage, gua sha, cupping. You know they don't change posture, so we have to. We're going to go over in a minute some counter stretching, whereby we use these pieces of foam to put pressure on your back to hold. It's like my elbow just holds pressure here, and in the evening time, kind of before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. In the same way we brush our teeth, to clean our teeth before we go to bed, you want to realign your spine, get it back to a longer lasting position. Okay, that's and awesome. And then there won't be so much stress constantly from the posture. That's awesome. Yeah, the only, that took 102 years in chiropractic for them to sort of realize that stretching is the only way to change posture. It's how it's made worse and it's how it's fixed. The purpose of the table is to make your spine not so tender so that we can stretch more effectively, more deeply. It makes sense, it's just a, right. you can't really take a lay person and ask them to bend back really far and end up hurting themselves or somebody goes and tries to do yoga and they hurt themselves or. Yeah, you know. everything with measure. Yeah, you have to be prepped. Yeah, you have to be warmed up. Yes. Get the spine ready for stretching. But really, I agree, like stretching is so powerful. It is feeling a little better though already, like mm -hmm. as you, Run through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's more bearable in a way. Oh, yes. So, what's the average age of the of your students? Would you um, say? Um. Average hmm. middle schoolers. Middle schoolers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I teach, I, you know, not this year, but last year I was teaching like from three years old. Hmm. Um, this year I'm not actually teaching any, any babies, but, um, and I teach all the way until adults. Mm -hmm. All yeah. the way to my lower back. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. stronger than I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This side is pretty crunchy too though. Were there any chiropractors in Italy or not so much over there? You know what? Um, like, or not really, like, it's not, it's not very common mm -hmm. to, to find chiropractors there. So, I actually never been to a chiropractor before. Mm. 
uh, in Italy ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, hard there. Right. Mm. This the the mark is never normal. It always it only comes out because there's something internally. Hopefully, if the area is moving properly and we can get the body aligned properly, it takes a lot longer for any soreness to build up. But at the end of the day, it's almost like plaque on your teeth. You mm -hmm. know, it's something that has to be throughout our lives dealt with. You know, I don't. I don't think this is as bad as last time. Usually the first Actually, yes, I was just going to say, mm -hmm. this is not as uncomfortable as mm -hmm. the first mm -hmm. time. No, mm -hmm. no. Yeah, usually by the, I don't know, what do I say, on the sixth to eighth time we do this, usually nothing happens anymore. And then there's a huge drop off in terms of any discomfort back here. That, Ed, are, wow. you, are you pushing with the same level of pressure? And, you know, it, there's not nearly the soreness that I started out with. And, Yes, this is just not mm -hmm, bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Whole goal of this is to soften your spine like clay, and then we're going to stretch in a minute. There's a yellow denaroll that can go in between your shoulder blades, and it presses downwards on your upper back, and we'll go over that in a minute. And that's what we're going to use as, nice. your, as a home device to give you a, almost like an emulation of my elbow that presses in here and you know there's no bottle of Dr. Ed get out here Ed and work on my back you know the, the stretching devices are the closest thing we have as a retainer to prevent Ed I felt better for a day or two and then it came back again that's why we have to stretch right honestly awesome if there's any homework yes. that yes. can be done yes. to make things better that's just so nice to know let's you know? do it if you haven't ever stretched your back before you know they're when, because you're changing your alignment, that disparity between where you want to be and where the stretch is asking you to be is makes it difficult. Yeah, a lot less coming out over here. I mean, there's a just mainly. You, know, you see that, Carl? Just the this side's a little higher here. She's just there's an avoidance. Your body has had old injuries over here, and then your body likes to tilt away from it. It's very interesting because I feel this a lot. Like, I feel um, my right shoulder more forward mm -hmm. when I drive even, like on or the way I simply sit. Mm -hmm. And I remind myself, okay, align your shoulder, just like, mm -hmm. you know, hold it back a little. Mm -hmm. So it's like back in place and I, I want to feel even, right? And it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, I find myself when I'm relaxed to not have my shoulder a lot evenly aligned with the left one. Yes, we got to stretch that back but not nearly as much coming out over here, just... Yeah, it is pretty different. The ligaments on the front are what determine your posture, and so it's ultimately about stretching the front part of the body to allow your body to retain itself in the right neutral position, kind of like a stress test. If we can be comfortable mm -hmm. or not that uncomfortable in an extreme position, then being in neutral becomes easy. You know, it's a... Uh, just a higher level of, you know, posture and... Yes, that's interesting, you know, because like, in ballet we're taught a lot of stretches, mm -hmm. and but it's going to be on a different eye, like, because it's a different purpose, you know, mm -hmm. like, a purpose that I may have with a stretch, with a back stretch, it may be different than, you know, what you would tell me. <laughs> yeah. Deep breath in for me. Exhale. Here we go. Come up a little bit. Good. Breathe in deep. Here we go. Exhale. Nice. I know it's tough. Mm -hmm. It's on the shoulder a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Stretch. All right, good. A little bit more movement there. You did good. You did really good. Mm -hmm. Put your arms back down for me. There we go. There we go. Breathe. Ooh. There we go. Exhale. She's so flexible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There you go, nice. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> She's really good. <laughs> oh, yes. that was the first time. <laughs> that's really nice. I can never get my mid back like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you did really good. good job. That's really good. You may have any back for me. You gotta stretch the front part of your shoulder here. <laughs> 
I feel like it's all like the tension, you know, in all these areas, and it's just like. Mm-hmm. But I'm also a ticklish person, so like oh. even like the top of my thighs, like oh, literally yeah. here, <laughs> is ticklish. Yeah. I'm sure like it's kind of common. Are you, te- you said you're teaching a little bit? Uh, or later this afternoon? Yes. <laughs> There's some marks on your back, so. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, but I'm gonna have an, a different shirt. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. All right. Kids will be all, you did it again! <laughs> What's going on? Poor Miss Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we have some tangles in there. Yeah, right there. That's where the right there front part of her sort of bicep tendon here a little bit, and front part of your deltoid, anterior deltoid. There's some right there. There's some. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my God, that hurts! I'm surprised. Well, you can't hide. There's whenever there's internal, that acidity is what creates that discomfort. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, we gotta clean it out. Wow. Mm-hmm. I used to be tickled now, and now it's pain. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I kind of want to tickle again. <laughs> now I just want to pop yet. Uh-huh. See that little yeah, yeah. There's, the, there's internal just things that have been trapped in there, lactic acid. So interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It just if there's crystals in here, if there's any type of old injury in here, it'll restrict motion or especially when you're going to the end of the range of motion of the mm-hmm. joint, that's Yeah, that's when that's I feel where it. you'll feel it. Yeah. And then if it if we don't This is mm-hmm. so so this yeah. is very surprising to me. Because mm-hmm. it's not like I had any bad things happen right. to my shoulder. It's just gotcha. something that has been consistent, right. and I thought it was just like, oh, that's just how my shoulder works. You know, like it just hurts. That's okay, <laughs> and no, it really is no. not okay. We can we can work, wash that out of there. You shouldn't be living. There's no there's no pain is normal. It's all something that the body's trying to like check engine light, tell you that something's in there that's not working properly. Mm-hmm. Let's try to draw some some blood flow in there, oxygenate the tissue, wash wash out whatever's in there that's causing the pain, you know, and uh, same thing. Around I'm there. really surprised, yeah. So usually once once these marks sort of go away, you know, the discomfort will come down a good degree, and that's it's eventually... It's like I fell on, like, <laughs> <Right. laughs> asphalt or something, like, oh yeah, I just fell on my shoulder and I scraped it off. <laughs> Everything is good, yeah. Uh, some of my toes are not pulling at all. Do you remember from last time? All right. Well. <laughs> We're going to see what happens today. It's a, n- it's it's a so new weird. day. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Should be good. Only the little ones that you don't really use yeah. for balance. Right. <gasps> oh, it popped. That's good, last time it didn't happen. I thought something was like actually wrong with my joint. I'm like, maybe I didn't damage it that bad then. I'll come back, okay. Here you go, a little bit. Okay. Okay, these yeah. ones are like yeah. butter uh-huh. compared to the other ones. <laughs> no, I'm not getting my heart that. Yes, I felt that this was gonna pop it. I'm very excited about this one. (gasps) Wow, that's good. We didn't do this one last time. When you're on point, when you're, I mean, where is the pressure on your foot? I mean, is it? So on point, like what happens is is like the the shoe Uh is flat and you kind of like your whole toe, it's just kind of like how it works with a a normal like heel shoe Mm -hmm. that is like pointy. So you would you you have just your foot tapered like this pretty much, right. and the pressure is distributed um, in, uh, along the whole base of your point shoe. So mm-hmm. it's like this. So there's nothing inside of it actually. Mm-hmm. It's like you know when I was young, I thought there was something that can maybe you could like it was maybe an illusion, and you could maybe fold your toes right. like this. No illusion. You're straight up like on your toes, and there's just like a little platform that is straight like this. Wow. I don't have like a lot of calluses or anything like that. They're not ruined really. Sometimes you would see is that the joints would grow, which you really had, I mean, like right here, it's a little bit mm-hmm. like the, the like bone. the bunions or? Well, the bone's gonna grow, right? Just from the yeah. stress, and then if the toes are held in, yeah. they mm-hmm. make, 
again, something they make these like almost like those toast spreader things. Yes. That mm -hmm. to keep this straight, yes. what ends up happening is the cartilage, because the toe goes in, that gets pinched right here. Mm -hmm. And so and then this gets larger. And then once that cartilage on the inside gets worn out, you know, creates a lot of discomfort. That is true. That is a really common thing in ballet. They, they you know, toe separators, they, they, when they fit your point shoes, they help you like know what, what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. You know, keeping that spaced out. Yeah. You know, it's tough. Look up, look up. Here we go. Press back. <gasps> okay. Mm, that was nice. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and tilt your head a little bit left for me. Yes, and it's and it's immediately warm. That's yeah. the that's the interesting thing yeah. about it. It's yeah. immediately warm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's what mine do. It's, mm -hmm. like, it's like oh, and then like oh, it's so nice. yes, <laughs> it's pretty soothing. All right, go ahead and tilt a little bit to the right for me. There we go. Tilt, tilt. Oh, okay, not there. There we go. Let me check this top one. There we go. Tilt to the right a little bit. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. This one did not want to collaborate, but yes. <laughs> so your shoulder blades would be on either side of this. Mm -hmm. And what this does, you want to find that spot. Makes sense. And then eventually I'll show you how to use the strap, but you start without the strap initially. And you want a sort of downward pressure, so you make your contact, and then I do a little bit of a slide mm -hmm. to get the pressure going in and downwards to try to push down on the vertebrae, if that makes sense. Okay. So you make, make your contact, so now I'm just straight in and then I do a little bit of a kind of a slide down to get the okay. pressure going downwards on my back. And so you want to, the ideal thing would be to be right above it. So if the spot, you know, is right here, your mm -hmm. contact is right above it, you press in and then you're coming down. I see, on okay. On the spot mm -hmm. that's where the rib is raised, so go, come like maybe a half inch above the spot. Mm -hmm. and that yellow guy, come above and then slide down on it, and then sort of hang out here, arms to the side, or ideally up, and then you're working two at the same time, so you're working your shoulder. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine how I'll feel it on my shoulder. The, mm -hmm. Stretching mm -hmm. the front, and then the next Show me everything is, so then you take this bungee strap and it goes on your head. Hmm. And then you stretch your head back at the same time. Now you're pressing inwards on the upper back and then you're stretching the front part of your neck. And more discomfort and <laughs> more difficulty. But we, I would just almost just start with the, without the bungee strap, you just do this first and see how if you can handle this. Okay. And uh, they, we, I don't, I don't, for as flexible as you are, I think you'll need these support blocks. People can start with just the yellow block without the white blocks underneath. Mm -hmm. But I think with your level of flexibility, I don't, I don't think you feel much without the support blocks. But to get That's off, you, mm -hmm. deeper stretch. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to go, and then to get mm -hmm. off, don't do a sit up, you'd be rolling. Okay, so I roll to the side to the, yeah. Mm. Is this there good? you go. And then you sort of push with your feet. That makes sense. There you go. Perfect. You got it. Get the idea. Perfect. You stay right there. There you go. See how it's. Do I relax my head back? Yep. Yep. You got it. You got it. Okay. Get the idea. And you keep a little. You, you do have a little tension with your feet because you're trying to hold that. Yeah, I'm trying to hold pressure. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it. Yeah, draw the head back. We have to push the chest in. So even in your case, you're more just the neck is straight, and we want to get some arch into the neck. Push in that upper back a little bit. Push those ribs down. And the goal is like. Like I said, it, it takes 20 minutes, so you work your way up to 20 minutes. You might do, you know, three minutes at the beginning, and then you work your way. Am I supposed to try to stay, like, as relaxed as possible? Like, if you can. Can, if you I, can. can I relax my, my hips please, all the way please, down? Yeah, please, relax your body. Okay. Yep. Yep. So is it's, it? I, it's interesting because I, I'm almost feeling a little bit more on my left, though. Like, I kind of wish I would feel it more on my right. Interesting. I don't know if maybe I'm slightly angled. Okay. Do you want to try? That? Should I try come up like to try, the side? You try. You try. Yeah. Maybe yeah so here we go. Yeah, a little. Yeah, maybe you're off. Right. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty. You're pretty. Let's look okay. center. Looks good. Go a little bit lower. Yes, yeah, go a little bit. It's a little bit lower mm -hmm. there. Like. There you go. And then, yep, you got it. And the arms above your head. Yep. You're just trying to mold. Okay, that's probably better. You just it's a little bit of trial and error. You have to try to get yeah. it. You want to get it right over that uncomfortable spot. 
just it's just a portable elbow and use the, your own body weight to exactly. I feel like I need to. Mm -hmm. like, wait. Go ahead. You try. You try mess with it. No, you're sort of searching and finding that pressure. Can you even just like sure, slightly sure, roll side to sure. side? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so interesting. I'm almost feeling more on my left. Right. The left is looser. So what happens yeah. is the side that doesn't move. Maybe it's move, letting it get right. in more. Like. Yeah. You're probably stretching more on the left because the left is actually softer. So I would almost try to, if you want, you can even lean to the right a little bit, and so it just exactly just a little bit of a tilt to the right, so you get more pressure on that right side. Wouldn't mm -hmm. be a bad thing. But yeah, it's a. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I like I like the moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cause it's. Right, the foam with the foam roller isn't yeah. as good up here because the foam roller, the shoulder blades, contact the roller and doesn't let us get some pressure in between the shoulder blades. And just trying to stretch, give you some compression. You're actually trying to compress the neck a little bit as you're going back into extension. So. How does your neck feel a little bit like that? It feels good. Actually, it's not hard at all for me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can. It yeah, can be tighter, but I'm not gonna. First time you do it, I don't want to put it on the <laughs> tightest setting. But. So it tightens. That's nice. You, yeah, you'll you'll actually have more pressure. You can tighten up the bands, and then it's. So can one do it? This like even I mean this this is the proper tool, but like if you you know would would a regular like foam roller. Would the spikes work for this, and just maybe put this more would, attention to the? Yeah, for your for your issue, I don't know if the roller is the best because it's it's not gonna be effective at putting pressure in between your shoulder mm -hmm. blades. It's not; it's too wide. So I see. this is really the only thing we have to give you pinpoint pressure in between mm -hmm. your shoulder blades. And yeah, this is really nice. Roll your left. Let's go to roll to your left for me, and then sort of lay it on your belly. So you're gonna roll. Yep. Breathe. Breathe. There we go. And lay it onto your belly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. oh I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment. <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> okay, first impression is really relaxing, and I feel like I'm floating off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. I feel like. So, my friend told me about this. There's like this one uh, viral thing on TikTok. Has somebody like. You know, you extend your arms and like one person picks up your arms and then lowers you down slowly or something like that. Okay. Um, and and then the, the person lets you go and it feels like you're going through the floor. It kind of feels the same. Like it's just oh. like right. It's a very nice, relaxing feeling, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like I'm living life right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, feel, I feel very straight. Lined up from the side. Oh yeah. Looks great. And yeah, I don't have to like. I feel like if I was to engage, I right. would be arching. Right. No. No. You're now you're. Neutral. And normally I have to engage a, a little bit. You know, I have to engage yeah. a little bit to like your neutral stay where it needs to be. We took you all the way back, and now the center is easy. And mm. now I'm like slouching. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, like I'm just gonna well, like. This relax. position. If you if, if if we if we get stuck in this position, this pain is in, is just forever. We have yeah. to. We have to take you back. The whole point, the entire purpose of my office is to get that stretch mastered. And if you can... To as many people as possible. Yeah, yellow with the bungee strap, that's that's end game. Yeah. That's, that's end game. Mm -hmm. yep. It felt amazing. Oh, it was so great. good oh, to be great. back.